Hey folks, it's your favorite sorcerer. As you can see already, is Sopex. Welcome. And in this video, I want to talk about the role of frequency in magic. Okay, I'm sure you've heard other people, as well as me, talk about the uh, the sentence of Tesla or the, 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 the quote of Tesla. If you want to understand the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and uh, particles. Right. So. What does that mean for us as magicians? Because even though we should be the ones that understand that best, because we're metaphysicians, we, we don't work with the physical world, we work on the dimension that overlaps the physical reality, very, very few people really understand how to apply that stuff and how uh, profound that statement really is. And in this video, I'm going to try to, to, to give you you know, some, uh, some deeper understanding of that concept and how it can be applied for us. Your vibe, your energy, the frequency that you resonate at, even if it's not conscious to you, triggers people, situation, and, uh, you know, people, situations, and objects in the external world, they're all on the same frequency. When I say trigger, I'm talking about activating it. So once again, your vibe, the frequency that you're at, activates people, situation, and objects in the outside world that are on the similar frequency. This is what people um, really mean when they talk about the law of attraction. Or uh, uh, you know, most people would just call it good or bad luck. So your vibe, the frequency that you're resonating at, is bringing to you, activating, calling to you people, events, objects, situations that are on that frequency. Okay. So it's extremely important that we control our frequency and keep it as high as possible. There are various techniques on how to raise your frequency. I'm not going to go into that necessarily today. However, I want you to be aware of that. So when things are not going your way, let's say you start your day and you have one bad experience after another, you have a, a bad experience in traffic and it just keeps, you know, the first five, six situations in your life just, just are not good. Stop looking into the outside world, but fix your vibe. And I promise you that things are going to start changing. Raise your frequency. Okay. Now. This has many implications for your daily life, as you can already see, of course, right? <clears throat> but uh, what does that mean for us in magic? See, a lot, of, a lot of people are just amateurs, generally speaking. The world is full of amateurs, and magic and, and, and the occult is not, no different. Most people are amateurs. So what they're trying to do is basically, they think... They can just, um, you know, decide to call upon a spirit, throw down a circle, and and say some incantations, and that entity is going to appear. Remember, it's a frequency game. So if you want to be able to call upon a frequency, uh, to call upon a spirit that is at a very very high frequency, guess what? You're going to have to match that with your energy. This is why in the grimoires they talk about fasting, they talk about cleansing yourself, they talk about using the right incense, you not smelling, and then by detoxifying yourself and whatnot, your body odor, which is very, very disturbing to, to uh, you know, even demons, is going to be less of a problem. So overall, what all of this is about is raising your frequency to a point where you can match the frequency of the spirit. They're not part of the physical universe. They're vibrating very, very high. You know, Comparably speaking, you vibrate lower. Your physical body, your physical body is part of the physical universe, vibrates lower than a demon, vibrates lower than an angelic being, and vibrates lower than, than you know. There's The spectrum is infinite. There are entities that are <clears throat> incredibly high, but much lower than the physical world. Doesn't doesn't happen at all. Right? I mean, 
dead matter is pretty much the lowest uh, level of frequency that uh, you can find. Now, generally speaking, good things vibrate higher than low things. You know, art, a piece of art, vibrates higher at a higher frequency than destroyed matter, trash. Yeah. Good emotions, productive emotions, vibrate faster, higher than low frequency emotions such as anger, hatred. Understanding vibrates higher than confusion, you see. So even if you're just con confused, raising your frequency is going to bring about understanding. I'm going to do another video soon in which I'm going to talk about truth, the quality of truth and what that actually means. It's a very profound thing, probably more profound that you, that, than you understand right now. But after the video, it's going to be clear. So um, the bottom line of this video, the message that I'm trying to get across is start to look at the world in terms of frequencies. If you want to fix your life, don't look into the outside world for solutions. The solution is within you in terms of changing your frequency. It's going to call upon the right things into your life. You see what I mean? Uh, that's the bottom line. You know? Now, there are a lot more things to say about that, which I'm not going to cover in this video. But please understand that um, all the things that are mentioned in grimoires are mentioned for a specific reason. Okay, planetary hours are used for a specific reason because the frequency during those times is more, you know, closer, more in, or it's going to make it easier to call a spirit of that of that energy. You know, uh, Jupiter hour is good to call upon a spirit from Jupiter. And generally speaking, try to increase your frequency. Everything good is up there. Now, good and bad are really um, a matter of perspective now it could be that you're an anti-cosmic satanist and for you everything that is bad is good all right like this it's it's, it's flipped okay now to an extent that's also true for for uh clefothic uh, demons right but what i'm trying to say is essentially i mean it's a matter of perspective i'm just explaining how the system works from my perspective everything good is is high vibratory it's, it it goes towards survival it goes towards expansion it goes towards creativity you know everything is up there wealth health love understanding wisdom survival um everything good is high vibrating now if you're from my perspective a sick fuck you would reverse that and there are many people out there like that okay well to each their own all I'm trying to say is the Grail of the Serpent is going to guide you towards more of that high stuff. And uh, let's go and create. I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.